Have you been enjoying this The Myths of the Four Types video series? I hope so. Share in a comment what you've learned. Has it helped you clear up the misunderstanding about your type? Maybe that one little thing that I was able to give clarity to opened your mind and you went, oh, I am that type. I removed the obstacle for you. So let's look at type four today, but before we get into the three most common myths, four, I can't be a type four because, thank you for subscribing and hitting the bell so you get a notification so you can get my support on a weekly basis. Now type four is a more structured energy. It has a linear quality, straightforward, a balanced symmetry to it. It has the nature of a keen eye. A type four person has a gift of a keen eye, being able to see imbalances, inefficiencies, imperfections, and to bring more perfecting to our world. And when used in a manner that supports their experience and others, it helps refine and bring more um, just a quality of well-being to our lives. When it's misused, it can become a criticism towards themselves or other people because they're not using their critical thinking skills in a manner that influences the world for the better, whether it's their world or their outer world. So, you know, it's not the best to use your type four critical thinking skills and how your child loads the dishwasher, especially if you've not given them some training to your preferences, you know. And my the bottom line for me on that one is buy a quality dishwasher that, you know, should be able to clean that no matter, obviously there's some, if you're gonna cover a dish, you know, water can't reach it. But uh, make sure you're applying your type four nature to the things that matter most. So let's think about these myths. What are some of the myths of a type four? Now, again, they have a more less is better tendency in their experience. Um, like in our type four dressing your truth fashion, they wear the least amount of jewelry. They um, have a very, they prefer structure and garments to be well fitted. They prefer uh, finer made things to be a quality and to have fewer items, but more quality items. Those are all really typical tendencies for a type four when it comes to dressing your truth. And so this sort of clean space, open space, minimalist is a very type four tendency. So this first myth will help you understand why people then will say this. Again, my support team provided these to me. They hear this from our customers and fans to say, well, I can't be this type because, so the first one was, I can't be a type four because I don't have a clean home. Okay, now that's extreme. So type fours are all or nothing. Now, I'll hear this from parents. My child seems like a type four, but their room is a mess. Now, Mark, you, my son's type four. He's sitting here in the office with me. You did not have a super clean bedroom growing up. No. Nope. And I learned, Mark was my lab. He was my type four laboratory. I learned as I observed him. Now, Mark, you have, you have a lawn though now. You own a home and you have a lawn. Mm -hmm. Is your lawn immaculate? Yes, mine is the best. It is, it, it, the edges? <laughs> Do you, this guy's lawn is immaculate and, and the edges are perfect and he enjoys mowing it. And so see the difference was, as a teenager, his room being super tidy and clean wasn't a big deal. He didn't care about it that much. So he kind of went in the nothing. And he didn't have a lot of stuff, so it wasn't like it was horrible. But it didn't have to be super clean for him. Now his lawn, that's his all. His eye, he takes his perfecting eye and applies it to his lawn. He didn't use it towards his bedroom. And so something might be happening here with the, I don't have a clean home. Well, it could be that you'd like to. But you just, it's lifestyle, number of children, there's a lot of factors that interrupt that and you went into your nothing and went, why do I even try? It's too much, it's too hard. And you just let it go. Or it is not the place you exhibit these qualities of perfecting and your minimalism. Or maybe just, and you may have too much stuff because you have, you know, if you were living by yourself, 
and you didn't have several family members that are of different types, that could look different as well. You might apply that cleanliness, that ability for cleanliness to your living space. But there's a lot of reasons you might not be. So again, it does not disqualify you out of the type four category. So again, that all or nothing really plays out in these kinds of um, experiences in life. Okay, here's another one. I can't be a type four because I don't have perfect skin. Okay, well, first of all, you may have the wrong hair color. You're not dressing your truth. And a phenomenal thing happens. Look at our before and after photos. We have a lot of them on my website. Uh, we've got before and after videos that you can see women literally change before your eyes. And one of the most interesting phenomena for a type four woman is her skin goes from looking kind of ruddy or solo looking or aging to oh, porcelain once she starts dressing her truth. Well, did you know if you're wearing the wrong colors, those undertones that are in the colors, because type fours in my system at dressingyourtruth.com are taught to wear pure colors without undertones. And those undertones cast different shades onto your skin and it makes your skin look different. And uh, you would, from the literally tens and th tens of thousands of type four women I've helped, there are many, many, many that have said, wow, it completely changed my complexion and my skin started getting healthier once I started dressing my truth. So what you're seeing, if you're a type four and you, and you maybe have too critical an eye, you know, when you lean into the mirror and you get like this close, you're going to find your irregularities in your skin that no one else is seeing. And so I, I tell you, don't lean into mirrors because you're not getting a true perception of yourself, but your perfecting nature may be too critical of your skin as well. Yeah. You're like, but I have, you know, I'm a type three. See all the, you know, I got all kinds of smile lines, um, which type fours don't have. I always want to go, oh, you want to see lines in your face, type fours? No, you don't have them. You just have a critical opinion of yourself that you're projecting on your skin. All right, the last one. And this one I have to give a qualifier for. It's actually not very nice, but we do hear it. And I want to straighten this up. So I'm glad I'm making this video to straighten this up. Because it's truly um, a incorrect judgment of a type 4. Can it be true at times? Yes, I've experienced it. I can't be a type 4 because I'm not mean. Oh, my son said, that's mean to say that. <laughs> like, yeah, it kind of is. Here's the deal. Type fours are, they say it how it is. They have more of a um, kind of bottom line way of saying things, straightforward, having, so it may feel severe. It has a blunt, severe quality to it. And if you're not used to that or you don't understand this person, you may feel like, God, oh, they're being mean. And they're like, no, I'm not. I'm just saying how, what I think. And What's the big deal, you know? And so they're misunderstood for their delivery method. And that, you know, so many people in the world, including myself, until, you know, I started healing my life, catered to modifying myself to be someone I wasn't. And like, oh, I better not say things that way because I don't want to offend anybody. So we tend to think, worry about other people too much rather than speaking our own truth. But there's a way to speak our truth that's considerate with those it's being spoken to. And so, yes, have I experienced type fours being too severe, too extreme, um, not being, you know, kind of lacking civility? Yes. So does it happen? Yes. Does that mean every, that, Type for people are mean. No. Every type has an opportunity to work on a characteristic or tendency that could be offensive to other people and disrespectful. Every type has that. And we should probably do a video series on that. Maybe I've got content on that in my lifestyle, though, my lifestyle membership, because we all have opportunities to be 
conscious of our tendencies and say, you know, I need to kind of modify that in a way so I'm respectful of this human being and I'm a civil person. We all have that opportunity. We're human and we have that opportunity for growth. So which of these four were ahas for you? Are you a type four that's been hiding from yourself? Please come join our bold, striking women uh, in the thousands that are all dressing their truth and supporting each other. That is a place in our type four Facebook group where you can express yourself more true to yourself and everybody gets it. So we have those communities for you. Thanks for watching. How'd you like this series? What have been your ahas? Share in a comment and uh, we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.